dear friends this is my tutorial 46 in Gaussian so in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to calculate bond dissociation energy for the phenol molecule so here I'm what I'm going to do I'm going to calculate bond dissociation energy of this OH bond so before going to do calculate that bond dissociation energy we have to optimize uh, different kind of intermediates i will tell you one by one first we need to optimize phenol molecule so this is the phenol molecule so if you want to do any other molecule you can just to follow this method in order to calculate bond dissociation energy so so this is the phenol gaussian input file just i will open with notepad plus plus So this is the input file for phenol. So first you have to put percentage CHK equal to phenol dot CHK. So just you have to write what is the molecule you are going to run. Just to write the name. Then you, uh, you have to write the percentage MGM equal to 6 million words. Then you have to write percentage N pro shirt 2. If you are using this uh, Windows version, just you can use this 2. This is the NF. So if you are using Linux version, you can change according to the machine configuration. Then we have to uh, put that hashtag, then you have to put a theory, then you have to put this default uh, input file root section keywords, then you have to put optimization and followed by frequency. So the, what we will do the calculation first, the, the system will optimize using this keyword, then frequency calculation will run. Then you have to give one space, then you have to put name of the molecule, phenol molecule, then you have to put space then you have to put uh, total charge of the this system so this charge of the system is zero so th that's why the final charge i put zero here then you have to put spin multiplicity so one this is this is the cartesian coordinate of this final molecule then you have to put one space here then uh, you, you have to mention what are the atom present in the molecule so in the final molecule carbon atom present oxygen atom present and hydrogen atom present so after that you have to put zero then you have to mention your basis set for this calculation so here i mentioned 6 iphone 31 g star basis set so if you want to do higher basis set you can also use different kind of basis set in order to get that more accurate value of bond dissociation energy and also you can also change the theory so different kind of theory you can use to in order to get the bond dissociation energy then you have to put finally four star four star means end of the basis set after mm, putting that sort just you have to give for some space that that only the system detect the input file is ended so then save it just to submit this input file to your windows gaussian calculation so calculation will complete within you know, five to ten minutes so i will show you that uh, output file so this is the final one this output file so already i submitted this calculation and optimized so i will show you that bottom of the section so this is the normal termination of gaussian 09 calculations so here i will tell you one place where to get your total energy of the system so after completing of optimization you will get these pages this paragraph so here you can find your energy this is the total energy of this phenol molecule so next to the calculation we will do the frequency calculation so you have to take your energy from here only you should understand that so if you want to view this output file using gaussian you can also view gauss view just we will open gauss view So just to drag this uh, output file to here it will open so here go to results here you can see vibration so here you see the frequency everything positive you have to get positive frequencies so uh, if you did not get positive frequency just you have to re-optimize that uh, take uh, world Cartesian coordinate 
and do reoptimization in order to get that all positive frequency so we can see the vibrational frequency using this step we can click this start animation so just click here you can change one by one you can see the vibrations so likewise you can see the vibration just you can stop animation close it so first we have optimized our phenol molecule next what you have to do we have to optimize phenol radical so so i will show you the input file using gauss view this is the radical so how to make this system i will tell you using this gauss view so this is the gauss view just you can drag that input file you can see here just i removed that h molecule so so we are going to remove H from this phenol molecule to calculate the bond dissociation energy. So just I removed. So I saved as an input file for this. You also you should optimize this. You should also optimize this molecule. So I will show you that uh, input file. So this is the input file for phenol radical. So th this is actually homolytic cleavage not heterolytic cleavage this is the homolytic cleavage means so one electron will remain with the oxygen one electron remain with h atom so this is the radical system so this is the input file for phenol radical system so similarly what you did a phenol similarly you can mention here also here the percentage hk phenol uh, just i mentioned radical system so this also you have to mention memory and the end shared the same theory and everything you have to mention similarly what you did for your final system then you have to mention optimization frequency then space here you mention the penal radical then space here the total charge is zero so here you have to change spin multiplicity the one to two so this is the radical system so i also made one more video on uh, how to optimize the radical system using Gaussian. you can watch if you want then this is the Cartesian coordinate of the, the radical system. Then you have to mention space. Then you have to mention what are the atom present in the molecule. Zero, the basis set. Then you have to mention four um, stars. End up the this is this indicate that end up the input file. Then you have to give some space. Then save. Just you can submit this calculation. Uh, you will get your output file. So this is the output file. I will open with Notepad plus plus. I will show you. So if you go to the end of the out output file, you will see the normal termination of Gaussian. So here also I will show you the energy. So after optimization, you will get one uh, small paragraph. From here you can get your uh, total energy of this radical system. You can find your HF from it. This is the HF means or reform. This is the energy, total energy. This is 306.8216257. This is the energy so next we have to optimize our hydrogen radical so this is the hydrogen radical so this is the input file for hydrogen radical so similarly uh, what we did for phenol, hydra, phenol radical so just mention hydrogen radical then memory and n at the convention n at 2 and 6 million word and the theory and the optimization frequency then name of the system and space and the total charge is zero the spin multiplicity is two this is also a radical system then you have this the cartesian coordinate of this molecule h atom so then you have to mention the water data present in the system only h is there we mentioned h and zero six three one g cell basis set and four star and give some spaces that's all just you can save and submit this calculation using your uh, gaussian it will optimize uh, within uh, one or two minutes i will show you that optimized uh, h radical so if you go down uh, you can see here normal termination of gaussian 09 so just go up to find our hmm energy of this address radical so after that optimization steps you will get the energy so this is the 
h radical energy so we have to use this energy for our calculations so just i will close this so now we will do the calculation part this is the very important so this is the calculation part so energies of the intermediate so already i shown that phenol energy phenol radical energy h radical energy so you have to get from your output files so where i showed that before the frequency calculation start you will get one small paragraph from there you can find that hf uh, tag you will get that your energies so now we will do the calculation this is the phenol energy this is the phenol radical energy this is the hydrogen radical energy so this is the calculation sub bond dissociation energy equal to product minus reactant so here product is the phenol radical plus H radical. So here the uh, reactant is phenol. So this is the energies of the system. Just I copy pasted here. So this is the phenol radical. So 306, the 8216257 mentioned. Then you are, I have mentioned that H radical energy 0.5002728. So then we have to mention your uh, Phenol molecular energy 3074589614. So this is the energies we have to substitute in to that formula. So if you add this uh, two energy, you will get here 3073218985. So so default this is the uh, total energy of phenol molecule. So you have to subtract these two energies using the calculator. I will show you that. Open your calculator. Just copy paste that uh, value here so just you can press equal to, you will get 0 0.1370629 just i mentioned this is the actually artery unit so we need to convert into the kilocalories for mole so in order to convert kilocalories for mole we have to multiply this energy with 627.509 so if you want to do online conversion you can also do it so this is the conversion factor just you can multiply this so just multiply with this one you will get your um, bond dissociation energy of OH in phenol molecule so you can see we will get the 86.00 one actually it's zero one so this is the bond dissociation energy of phenol molecule so we can also compare this energy with the reported papers so just uh, go to i have some papers just i will show you one paper so if you go to paper so i will show you that bond dissociation energy actually they used different kind of theory and the basis set in order to calculate this bond dissociation energy actually we used the 631 g star only b3 loip theory so here you can see so so phenol molecule bond dissociation energy of this oh molecule is 86.1 so what we got 86.01 so is the same similar absolutely near to this value only same value only so likewise you can calculate your bond dissociation energy uh, and you can publish your results so that's all i will share this uh, document to you so you can also calculate yourself you can understand these things okay this is very easy only So if you like my content, please like, subscribe, comment and share. Please uh, click the bell icon for my future video update. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please share this video to your friends and uh, mm, your friends. Thank you. Thank you so much. Enjoy.